and massive infrastructure development is one key legacy that Governor Ifanya Koa wants to leave for the people of Delta State, addressing thousands of supporters at separate rallies in Aniocha North, Oshimili North, and South local government areas of Delta. It says that the business of governance is simply service to the people. We we'll have details in the following report. <laughs> The first port of call was the Pilgrim Baptist Grammar School feed, venue for the campaign in Isiluku and Yocha North Council area. Like previous political outings, members of the All Progressive Congress left the party for the People's Democratic Party. We are being with APC, but now we are seeing the good work of the Honorable Governor, and that is why we all have decided to move to PDP so that we vote for him a man that the good work will continue. Moving to Shimile North and South local government areas, Governor Ifanyo Koa got a rousing welcome as the people of Akukwibo and Asaba demonstrated their support for his second term bid with a massive turnout at the campaign. And me and my deputy, yes. we don't come and say we go develop as a well well. And as I develop here, mm -hmm. we they work for mm -hmm. all other local governments. Yes. For this state. Mm -hmm. Even so they with the work for inside water. But I want to promise you that my second tenure is going to witness a lot of entrepreneurial program for our youths. Any other governor that comes to rule over Delta State, we have a major problem. We have to work hard. Yes. Because we are going to leave a very large shoe for that person to wear. And they're just coming home to remind them that they're on the street. And ask, asking them for, his, for their prayers and for their support. He's a humble man, a resilient man. He has the feelings of the people of Delta in his heart. And that has informed why he's busy empowering people, doing roads, providing water, quality education.